Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create brushes. Um, in my courtesy pack that I provided with these tutorials, the uh, pack that you can download, there will be brushes in there that you can use which will be like, but, um, let's say, stitches, uh, a bit of lace, there's other bits in there I can't remember, but there's uh, quite a bit of stuff in there. Um, but now what I'm going to show you to do is to create brushes because obviously it's great having them but you also want to create them as well and so to show you this I'm going to create some trims I've simply just created a new layer uh, just by clicking there and called it trims and locked every other layer so nothing is now selectable right um, the way we create a brush is a brush is basically a tileable object which is put along a line so let's say we have uh, this is knitwear so we're going to give it a rib and there's one way I could do it, which is simply just by creating this rib here, grouping it, placing it uh, where we want to apply that rib, and then creating a clipping mask. Let's just create the outline for that clipping mask. Okay, so there we have our clipping mask. Uh, let's just change that to, let's say, I don't know, 0 0.35. There you go, it looks a little bit more appropriate. And then simply creating our clipping mask. Now, you see, that's great. That, that works fine, I guess. But the problem is, is that if you wanted to apply that to a curved line or to a curved object, uh, you would have to spend a long time creating straight, 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 straight to uh, to create that. So let's just release that and show you what I mean. So there would be my first one, I would then take it down a bit more and then I'd have to keep on rotating it and this would all be inside a clipping mask. But the problem is is that you'd get these gaps and it wouldn't be very appropriate. I mean this is quite an easy sloping neckline. But uh, So what I'm going to show you is how to create a brush. Right. So let's get our object, which is one of these, and I want to create this into a tileable image. And by doing this is, before how I did that, that is basically tiling that one object. So if I create a box around it, and now the box is basically the tile. So if we go in, the distance from here to here is how much this line will be tiled by. So for example, if I select all of it and I move it across, you see that is what the tile would look like so you would get this line here 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 and here so obviously the distance that you put or your boxes around your item basically explains or would be the distance that line would be oh, I'm not explaining this at all very well but hopefully you'll see in a minute now when it comes to brushes if I leave this box this area that it defines uh, with a line then it's going to obviously show that when I come to create the brush let me show you so this is my brush palette here I'm just going to literally click and drag that just onto that little that's basically a new brush click new pattern brush OK approximate path doesn't matter you can use stretch to fit whatever you like and now if I draw a line let's draw let's draw a nice curved line like this and I then see it's now appeared here if I click on that it'll then create the tileable image, but you see, because we have this this box and we haven't, we, it's got a line width. Basically, it's going to include it in there also, and that's obviously not going to be very good. So, if I then use this, if I then go to this box and I take the line width to zero, see, it's no longer there. If I select on it, it's still there, but it's not. It doesn't appear to the vision, to the eye. So, if I now take this item and I go to my brushes and I drag it into my brush's new brush, new pattern brush, OK, approximate path, OK, and I now click on my line, and you see it's now come down here, if I click on it, we now have that tiled, but without the box, and that's exactly what we're looking for, OK? So if I delete that, and I can delete this also because we've now finished with it, and I go to my neckline, I can simply create a nice smooth curve. In fact, what I'm going to do is, because you can't see that line particularly well, let me change it to 
change it to red. There we go. It's a bit more defined then. Okay, here we go. Now we have this this nice curving line that matches our neckline. I can then go back to my brush and I can click on it and now we have this really nice smooth line of rib that will basically follow our neckline and that's exactly what we want to achieve. So, let me get a little bit more in depth. I'm now going to create that line that follows all the way let's say down to here. And I'm now going to click on that and we now have a nice smooth line. However, here if the if the corner or the gradient or the the line is too tight, it's going to cause this this problem here. So I just have to go back in and just smooth it out a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit smoother. Okay. So now we have this fantastic kind of smooth contoured um, brush.